Okay, let us look at the food deficiency diseases. We all know that food is the main source of energy for all the living things. If we see that in our digestive system, the food is digested, the complex molecules and simple substances, the nutrients like carbohydrate, proteins and fats are supplied to our body for various purposes. So if the food is having these nutrients in excess quantity or if the food is missing any of the important nutrient, it leads to food related diseases. Sometimes we call it as a malnutrition or false nutrition. There are different reasons for this malnutrition or false, uh, false nutrition. Sometimes the food related diseases are happened due to lack of nutrient, lack of nutrient in the food or excess of nutrient, excess of nutrients like either carbohydrates or fats. So excess of carbohydrates or fats in the diet, it leads to a condition called as obesity that is also a food related disease and lack of nutrients like a, either lack of protein or carbohydrate or vitamin, it leads to certain kind of uh, specific diseases. Now let us see some reasons of malnutrition. So what is malnutrition? Having food that is not having any one of the important nutrient, taking such food is called as malnutrition. So this malnutrition is caused is because of uh, different reasons. That is because of poor health. Poor health is one reason and willful starvation. Willful starvation. That is some people they do not want to take the food because of various reasons. That is one willful starvation. And the next one is socio-economic factors, their poverty. Socio-economic factors. And uh, because of some other reasons, some people are beauty conscious and because of that they avoid certain foods to take. So these are all the reasons for malnutrition. So the malnutrition is classified into uh, different types like uh, calorie malnutrition, calorie malnutrition, protein, calorie, malnutrition, protein, malnutrition. So now let us see what are these calorie malnutrition, protein malnutrition and protein calorie malnutrition. So now let us look at some malnutrition diseases, deficiency diseases, Kwashiorkor. Kwashiorkor is a deficiency disease that is caused due to the deficiency of proteins. So the children that are born with protein deficiency or facing a, a protein deficiency in the childhood, they have their body parts swollen. That is due to the water accumulated in the extracellular space in their body parts and they have very poor muscles developed. Less muscle and they have a fluffy face and difficult to eat the food and they have a dry skin. At the same time, they may suffer from diarrhea. So these are the various symptoms that are observed in children suffering from Kwashiorkor. So the other disease is marasmus. This disease is caused due to the deficiency of both calories and proteins in their diet. So this kind of deficiency disease happens to the children who are born uh, with a immediate, uh, uh, immediate births. The mother who gives births to number of babies repeatedly with a very less gap, very short gap. So what happens is that they may not be able to have proper strength and nutrients in their feed or in their bodies. So they may have the symptoms like lean and weak body and their swollen limbs, less muscle, less body weight, dry skin and diarrhea. These are the symptoms of the children suffering from marasmus. And if we look at the other disease that is the obesity, it is not caused due to the deficiency of a nutrient. This is caused because of the excess intake of either carbohydrates or fats. And sometimes these obesity may be genetic in condition also. So the obesity, it leads to different problems like cardiovascular problems. Gallbladder problems. And sometimes it is associated with a disease called as a diabetes, which is called as a sugar disease associated with this obesity. These are the few important deficiency diseases that are caused because of uh, calories and proteins in the diet. We find certain diseases are caused because due to the deficiency of vitamins. 
because vitamins play a very important role in maintaining various activities in different systems. Deficiency of certain vitamin leads to specific diseases. Now let us discuss about the vitamin deficiency diseases. Now let us look at the vitamin deficiency diseases. So vitamins are the important organic compounds that are to be taken in our food because vitamins cannot be synthesized in our body. So vitamins are to be taken in the food. The vitamins are categorized into different forms according to their solubility. Vitamins are divided into water soluble vitamins, water soluble vitamins and fat soluble vitamins. So the vitamins which are soluble in water are vitamin B complex and vitamin C. These two are water soluble whereas vitamin A, D, E and K these four vitamins are fat soluble vitamins. Deficiency of any of these vitamin in our diet leads to deficiency diseases. Say for example deficiency of vitamin C leads to scurvy and deficiency of vitamin A leads to night blindness. Uh, it may lead to xerophthalmia, dry skin or dry eyes and vitamin D deficiency leads to rickets. So in that way vitamin E deficiency leads to insterility, sterility that is infertility in animals. In such a way deficiency of a specific vitamin leads to a specific disease. Now let us look at the various vitamins and their chemical names and uh, the sources in which foods they are found and what kind of uh, symptoms are seen due to, during the deficiency of particular vitamin. Okay, now let us look at the different vitamins and their sources and the deficiency diseases and symptoms of that deficiency disease. Thiamine, it is vitamin B1. The resources of thiamine are cereals, oil seeds, vegetables, milk, meat, fish and eggs. The deficiency of thiamine leads to a disease called beriberi and its symptoms are vomitings, fits, loss of appetite, difficulty in breathing, paralysis. Vitamin B2, it is called riboflavin and resources are milk, eggs, liver, kidney, green leafy vegetables and the deficiency disease is glossitis, symptoms are mouth cracks at corners, red and sore tongue, photophobia, scaly skin. B3, niacin, sources are kidney, liver, meat, egg, fish, oil seeds. The deficiency leads to pellagra, the symptoms are dermatitis, diarrhea, loss of memory, scaly skin, pyridoxin or B6. Resources are cereals, oil seeds, vegetables, milk, meat, fish, eggs and liver. The deficiency disease is anemia, symptoms are hyper irritability, nausea, vomiting and fits. Cyanocobalamin, vitamin B12. Resources are synthesized by bacteria present in the intestine. So the deficiency leads to pernicious anemia. Symptoms are lean and weak, less appetite. Folic acid found in liver, meat, eggs, milk, fruits, cereals, leafy vegetables. Deficiency disease is anemia and symptoms diarrhea, loss of leukocytes, intestinal mucus problems. Pantothenic acid. It is found in sweet potatoes, groundnuts, vegetables, liver, kidney, egg. And deficiency leads to burning feet, symptoms walking problems and sprain. Biotin found in pulses, nuts, vegetables, liver, milk and kidney. Deficiency leads to nervous disorders and the problems or symptoms associated are fatigue, mental depression, muscle pains. Ascorbic acid, vitamin C. Green leafy vegetables and citrus fruits, sprouts are the sources. Deficiency leads to a disease called scurvy. Symptoms are delay in healing of wounds, fractures of bones. Vitamin A, retinol, found in leafy vegetables, carrot, tomato, pumpkin, papaya, mango, meat, fish, egg, liver, milk, cod liver oil, shock liver oil. Deficiency diseases, eye and skin diseases. Symptoms, night blindness, xerophthalmia, cornea failure and scaly skin. Calciferol or vitamin D. Liver, egg, butter, cod liver oil, shark liver oil and morning sun rays are the sources of vitamin D. Deficiency leads to rickets and the symptoms are improper formation of bones, knock knees, swollen wrist, delayed dentition, weak bones. Vitamin E, tocopherol, fruits, vegetables, sprouts, meat, egg and sunflower oil. 
The deficiency disease is fertility disorders, which is found sterility in males and abortions in females. Phylloquinone or vitamin K, found in green leafy vegetables, milk. And deficiency leads to blood clotting, delay in blood clotting, overbleeding or the symptoms.